All right, hello, welcome to episode 31 of my playthrough of Feed the Beasts um, Plexiglass Mountain. We are starting this episode out in a little bit of a different looking area, right? We have not been out here before. I have not been out here before, even though the map seems to think I've flown over this area. But we're here for one very specific reason, and that's this thing right here. Salt. Um, we're going to need a bunch of this because, as we thought at the end of the ep last episode, um, my quarry was moving too slow. So we're going to need some solar panels. And not just one, but many, many of these, right? Because I think we wanted to get it to the Signalium, signalium level, um, which I think now we're probably at the spot where automating all of this stuff with applied energistics and, and such is probably at good enough of a spot where we can get nine of these pretty comfortably, right? Um, but it's going to take some setup, but we're going to need a lot of salt. And by a lot, I mean like a lot, a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this into my pocket storage. It's going to live in here. Um, and I discovered um, not all of my stuff could actually deposit it into that chest at the end of the last episode, which is why I felt like we weren't getting enough stuff processing through the um, ore processing. Well, that solves one of our little mysteries, but I'm going to spend some time and I'm just going to grab an absolute ton of this salt and then we'll come back at the base and we'll kind of touch on or touch 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 base with at the base we're going to touch base at the base uh with what the plan for this episode is actually going to be because there's going to be some industry that has to go into this right because it's not as simple as just like oh yeah cool get salt get plexiglass which is what we need the salt for by the way um because we're going to need to automate some other things as well um but like i said i'm just going to spend some time here while I watch some YouTube on the side. Um, and we'll come back in a little while when I've got, I don't know, call it like 10,000 of this stuff. Like just like more, more, we want enough so that I don't need to come back out here for a while. How about that? All right. Anyways, like I said, we'll go do that and we'll come back in a little moment. And we're back with our 10,000 salt. All right. That took... Uh, a little bit longer than what I expected it to, but never the mind, that's okay. Um, how are we doing for emeralds is my question. We have two. Sweet. I want to make uh, one of these storage upgrades for my storage drawers. Um, and since we have so much salt, I'm going to chuck it in one of these things. Um, and since this one holds, I guess this one holds what? 1024 stacks. Um, I should be able to put nearly all of my 64 in there if I just shift right click. Nice. There is my 10,011 um, salt stored in there. I'm also going to go back downstairs. And since I discovered that my um, rest of my ores and stuff didn't actually get sucked into the system. Okay, is that everything? That should be everything there. Cool. Everything is now set to one. Nice. So this should all go ahead, store itself, as well as process up into um, the rest of my stuff down here, which is working nicely. It still isn't working that fast, is it? Oh, actually, I, I actually I imagine it's actually working pretty quickly, comparatively, because I think all of these are now going to be semi-full. I mean, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I think this is really my, my biggest, like, limiting factor here. Even though it actually has pulled out everything minus the, the lead. Is, um, pulling out of that. So it's working, at least. It's working. Um, but cool. This is all doing its job. Uh, maybe actually having the, um... The smelting factories might be overkill. No, not the smelting factories, the enriching factories. But I guess it doesn't really matter all that much since it wasn't that expensive for us. But cool. We have more resources now, so we should be in a pretty good spot to waste some of them. And by waste some of them, I just mean use some of them to work on this. All right. So enough dilly-dallying. We want to make these solar panels all the way up until Signalum, right? So we want to... Uh, chuck all of these bad boys in my wish list, right? Because that's what we want to get through eventually. 
I need to make a ton of photovoltaic cells. I need to make a ton of leadstone cores and steel nuggets. Uh, we can get really easily if I get another compacting drawer. Uh, actually, I think I have a drawer. I just need to grab all my steel out of here and my steel nuggets. I'm just going to grab this out and I'm going to put this in one of these drawers up here. Unless I already had one. I don't. Cool. That's going to live in there as well as our nuggets so that the system can see that we have this stuff, right? Wow, steel nuggets, that's also kind of expensive. Um, never the mind. Cool. So we can make that redstone we have in the system. Uh, well, at least we should have some. Oh, where is it all? Where is all my redstone? What's the bet that this thing ate it all? It totally did eat it all. Yikes. We probably should find a better way of doing this instead of just taking redstone dust because this thing just like ate all of my redstone for on the crafting that we did given we did do a lot of crafting with it uh we used a ton of redstone because we used a ton of enriched iron but still um that's where all my redstone is sitting so we need to find a better way of doing that at least a way that we can um do it the same way as the diamond i think Hmm. All right, that's going to be a dilemma for another episode. So let's work on this other stuff for now, right? Because I think the right now the the challenge I want to get over with is that is um automating making a photovoltaic cells. Okay, so if we want to do this, we need sheets of plexiglass because uh, that's the limiting factor here. Lapis shards we can actually um I can teach it how to make that. That's pretty easy. So lapis shards, uh, not that this stuff. That's an easy recipe to teach the um the system. So that can go up here. Doesn't really matter where that goes. Uh, and we'll probably start this actually just right now, putting in all the things we need it to know how to make. So we know how to make steel nuggets. Redstone we know. We need to make the leadstone solar core as well. Let's put these kind of in order. Of the thing that we need to make. So the leadstone solar core will be the next thing. The next step down which is just iron and lead nuggets. Lead nuggets we know how to do because lead is inside of my drawers upstairs. So that's really easy to make. Um, so this then can sit there. Um, so you are easy to make. Uh, these things now I need to teach it. Bang, iron nuggets we know, we know lapis shards now. The sheets of plexiglass is gonna be the next challenge to overcome, right? Let's put that there. All right, sheets of plexiglass. Easiest way of making you, right, is going to be the molten plexiglass route, which I have over here. Molten plexiglass, the only real way of getting it from that I could see is either make melting down plexiglass that you already had right inside of this thing, or you have to alloy it. And by alloying it, we have to make it in uh, a smeltery with liquid sodium and creosote or some sort of plant oil or tree oil. Tree oil might be our easiest way of doing this and just getting an absolute bunch of it. Um, the limiting factor here might be our sodium. Sodium isn't something that we can like make out of thin air, whereas tree oil we can make a lot of really easily. Tree oil we can get from, uh, actually left click it. Yeah, left click is how you make it, isn't it? Yeah, tree oil we can get from just chucking arboreal extractors, which we already have upstairs getting latex, um, but we just change it to just using it on like regular oak logs. And then I think this thing can also be upgraded um, as well. So we can generate this stuff um, passively. So the next thing that we need to do, if that's the case, we'll be making the sodium, right? Which is this stuff, the liquid sodium. And now this is going to take a couple steps. Um, as far as I can tell, because I don't think we can alloy up or melt up anything yet to make liquid sodium. The only way of making liquid sodium is in 
the condensentrator, the rotary condensentrator, which is this item here from mechanism. So we need one of those. And then liquid sodium must come from, I don't know what regular sodium is, to be honest with you. Um, as in, like, why is this, is this a gas then? I guess it must be a gas, which comes from sodium. Whoops. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, sodium, which comes in an electrolytic separator, and we have to use brine inside of that electrolytic separator. Right, and then we're going to have a byproduct of... Um, Um, we're going to have a byproduct of chlorine, which we can deal with pretty easily. We can deal with that byproduct and just kind of trash it because I don't think we're going to be using it yet. So what we can do to trash that is also just make the liquid trash can or fluid trash can, I guess it's called. So we're going to need one of those. Um, so then how do we get brine, right? So sodium comes from brine. Right, we need brine. Brine we can get again from condensing gaseous brine down. Which, yeah, the only way of doing that is, yeah, condensing gaseous brine down. Um, gaseous brine, which comes from chemically oxidizing, right? The chemical oxidizer of salt, which is why we went and collected a bunch of salt. Um, so this is a lot of steps, right? Because we need to go from this to make gaseous brine. The gaseous brine needs to go into a condensentrator. Um, and then from there, it needs to go into an electrolytic separator, which then get, turns it into sodium and chlorine. The chlorine needs to go into a trash can. And then the sodium needs to then go through another rotary condensentrator. And then from there, right, we have... Uh, what's the word? Liquid sodium. And then that liquid sodium needs to go into a smeltery, um, which is then going to be limited, right? Because this only has a 432 ingot tank capacity. So I need to limit it so that it's only pulling in um, exactly a bucket at a time, I guess, of each of them, of that and tree oil. Or what was it that we said we were going to do? The other version. Um, I should probably... Uh, tree oil we get from oh bro do we have to fraction instill it down from resin right and then we're gonna get rosin is rosin used for anything or are we just gonna bin it sterling dynamo it's a fuel i think we're just gonna bin it to be honest with you crap okay is there a better all right, let's deal with sodium. I think sodium is going to be what we're going to deal with this episode. Because my recording, at least at this point, is already at 20-odd minutes. So I have no idea how long this episode is actually at, running at at the moment. Um, but I guess we need to do some crafting, right? So we're going to need... How many... Well, let's start with the chemical oxidizer, right? This is step number one. We need basic chemical tank. I need redstone. I need redstone. Let's hope that the mining dimension is made, or has collected some redstone since we've been talking. It's made 51. Didn't really make a lot, did it? Um, okay, let's head back. Now this redstone is really going to want to be eaten by our machine downstairs. So what I'm going to do for the time being is this one. I'm just going to disable it for the time being. So that it's not pulling redstone from the system. Um, and then over here, we can start doing some crafting, right? The redstone can go back in, and hopefully it's not leaving here, which it isn't. Beautiful. I had redstone blocks. No, wait. Did I have redstone blocks? No, I don't. Never mind. All right. Chemical oxidizer. We need multiple things. Basic tank. Gotcha. Um, at the top of that, we need a dynamic tank. Gotcha. Top of that, we need a personal chest or personal barrel. Let's make the personal chest. This is all craftable. Personal chest. Thank you. Cool. Chemical oxidizer. Step one. Oops. Um, apparently, we need to queue some of this stuff up. Is done. All right. This is step number one, right? This is where the salt is going to go into. 
Um, I really need to turn this flux capacitor off if I'm holding mechanism stuff because it just like chews up. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Not really. Um, power. Cool. So we have one of those. So that's the... Not gaseous brine. You know, that's the gaseous brine step done, right? So that's that. And gaseous brine is done. So now we're up to making brine, which is a rotary condensator. So I need one of these things, and I'm going to need multiple of these. So let's teach our system how to make a basic chemical tank, an energy tablet, and a basic fluid tank, I guess. So to do this, we're just going to go there, select that, give me that. You, we're going to select the energy tablet, select it, thank you. And then a basic tank, select you. And then we can just throw this into the molecular assembler. Beautiful. So now I should just be able to request that you make all of these things. And that's one rotary condensator, right? And that gives us regular brine. So where do we need to go from there? Liquid sodium. We need to go into an electrolytic separator. We need one of these things now. Uh, we don't know how to make you. I need iron dust. Okay, so let's just teach this system how to make iron dust real quick dust uh, with the crusher recipe I think and then we can throw this crusher recipe oh come on oh I actually don't need to come down here to do this I keep forgetting that but whatever whatever cool so now I should just be able to request you by hitting control click mind you I've been doing this the entire time uh, if it shows up as blue right it shows it like I, right now it's not going to do it because we have the items but if it should what the Okay, I need to actually make that. Um, there we go. See how they're like, if I hover over this, um, the show up is blue and we read the tab, it says control and click to craft unavailable items. We can hit control click. It'll start the crafting for those things. And then we have the stuff that we need to actually make the item. Cool. So now we have the electrolytic separator. So that's going to make the sodium gas as well as chlorine so let's deal with the chlorine with the fluid tank we can queue that up that's going to make some stone cool so that's done and then we need to condensate the sodium down so let's start that craft right so rotary condensator again nice now we need a way to deal with piping around some of these items. So let's go at mechanism. Then we're going to look at pipes, right? Um, let's make let's make some basic pipes. Let's um teach this stuff because we'll probably need to make these uh, quite a bit, and then we'll just go straight to the advanced ones since we're at that level anyway. Um, cool. And then these are just crafting recipes, so they can go inside of this thing. So let's request like 16 of you cool so now we have fluid pipes and i think i'm gonna do this crafting stuff over here um awesome so now let's look at you i don't remember if Ooh. Where do these connect to? These are mechanical pipes. Are you item pipes and not fluid pipes? There is a chance that these are item pipes and not fluid pipes. No capacity, middle buckets per tick. Interesting. Interesting. Transporter config. Side config, gases, energy. Gases. Output blue through the right. Um, I have no idea what, how sided this thing is, but whatever, whatever. Um, okay, let's put you down in the corner. Chemical oxidizer, blue is that. So supposedly you should be there. I probably need the, um, isn't there a configurator tool or something like that? Configurator. Configure items. I don't know what this tool does so let's make one and find out and then you'll charge up 
Now, if I right click U, redstone sensitivity off, on, off. Type change, push, pull. Uh, you're not doing what I'm expecting you to do. Do you not like the advanced mechanical pipes? Do you want like the basic ones? Is that what's happening? Uh, let's make another 16 of you. What is happening? And either way, uh, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to make how many machines do we have? We have four of them. So no, T I E R is tier. So let's make four of you. Oh, and four of you. Three and four. And then I can go, oh, you don't take them. All right, that's fine. I thought I could upgrade these machines. Never mind. Um, I have no idea what I shift clicked in there. Is it you? Yeah, it probably was. No, it wasn't. I shift clicked something into that inventory. I have no idea what it was. Oh, well. Uh, let's grab out some salt while we're here as well. Salt, bonk. Oh, you're slow. Oh, and you're going to take a ton of salt. Jesus Christ. This is going to be an expensive trip. Okay. Well then, if that's the case. Gaseous brine. Cool, we're making that. I think with this we can directly output into a rotary dent condensator. Right, and that's going to turn our gaseous brine into regular brine. Right, let's follow this list back again. Um, we want to make liquid sodium to do this, right? So sodium comes from that, comes from brine. So our brine should then be able to be directly output into our electrolytic separator. So we can just go place U right next to it. Um, we made chlorine. And now this is we're going to be where we want the trash can, right? And now I'm going to just do this by the side. I'm going to turn all the sides off and then I'm going to have the right side auto output with auto eject on, right? And it's going to be the output two, right? The cyan one, which is the chlorine directly into our trash can. So I don't have to worry about that. And then with this other one, I think I want to do a node on top is how I want to do this. I also need another drain. Do we have another drain for the smeltery? Because I'm pretty sure that's how we also put stuff into it. Smeltery drain. What do you say on the tool? Input and output. Nice. And then this drain will just leave here above the controller. And then I'll put a node on top of you as well. And then what we'll do on the side here is we'll leave auto eject on, but then we'll leave the first output going out the top, right? Which will be the, no, actually I lied. Um, not the node on this one. Actually, I probably can do this with nodes, um, but we need another rotary condensator down. Bang, and then we'll go input and output through the top. No, we probably only want input through the top. Actually, let's do it through the back will be input. And then what I'll do is on this one, I want the blue output going out the back. So now if I connect this up here with pipes, this should work. Um, cool. I just need to turn... There, off. Nice. So now it's going to go from the back into this one. Beautiful. And then this is, should be collecting our, um, what's the word? Our brine, right? So now what I'm going to do, oh, how do I get power to these guys nicely? Because we have pipes doing their thing. Can I do this at the top? I can do this at the top. Let's do power in the back, if that's going to be the case. 
Oh, so we're going to break that, get the power cables. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then this one's going to go like that, and then that one's going to go there. All these have power now. Beautiful. Um, we're going to go these across the top. Bang. I'm going to turn this side off. And then here, side config, output blue at the top. On this one, um, we're going to go input top. And then you need to be set to auto eject on. Nice. Plus minus. I don't know what this plus or minus does. And I guess we won't find out until this actually makes enough gaseous brine into liquid brine. What does this mean? Issues. Input does not produce output. What? Do you mean the input does not create output? Gaseous brine makes... Oh, liquids. Why is there liquid sodium in there? Oh. Um, can I dump from this? Why are you breaking? Ah, oh, it's because of you, right? Because I accidentally set this stuff wrong when I did the sides. Hey, can I clear you somehow? No. I think I need some sort of tank. Let's make a tank so that I can pull that out. Oh, I don't have any redstone. Did I really use all the redstone I had? All right, if that's the case, then uh, we are going to go pipe out a food. I need food. We're going to go, yeah, these mechanical pipes. Bang, we'll connect it to the face. And then we'll say, oh, what is your side config looking like that for? That's why you're creating issues. You're going to be input left, output right, auto eject on. Uh, yeah, that's how it's going to be normally. But now, right now in the face, I need you to output. Okay, then. Why are you not working? What is happening here? Why are you not working the way I expect you to? Is it because of gases or liquids? Oh, you have like all these different like input output things. Items we don't care about. This is the tab that we were messing with. So tabs obviously isn't going to work. We want a gas input on left. So gas input left. And then I think we want liquid output right. And then right now through the face, right? That's our sodium. Then it's going to go out through there. So our gaseous brine is going to turn into brine. Beautiful. That's what we wanted. Um, so what I'm going to do is, before all this stuff breaks even more, I'm going to do the same thing with all of these. I'm just going to clear all the sides. Cool. You're all cleared. Um, item input obviously doesn't matter. Gases we're going to clear. Fluids we're going to clear. Energy can stay input everywhere. U, side config, energy, input through the bottom. Okay. What about U, side config? Turn all of these off. Gases, output to the right. Energy everywhere. Auto eject on. Cool. So now if I place you down, the gaseous brine should turn into liquid brine. And that's as far as we've gotten so far. Now that liquid brine... which is, I guess, the liquid output. So fluid input needs to be there. Why are you losing power? Ah, because energy. Side config energy. Um, and your input through the back, not through the, not through the bottom, right? Because I'm dumb. There we go. Cool, so now you have chlorine and sodium. So what I'll do here on the side config, I guess you are making are these fluids or gases. I, I guess you're technically gases. So then we're going to go cyan, which is output two to the right, which will be the chlorine. 
and then output one of gas is going to be at the top. Output one top forwards. Um, what? Can't eject. Why are you not working now? What? You, blue, auto eject on, gases, auto eject on. Hello? Oh, it's because you're not accepting, right? Is that probably why it's not connecting? So then we'll go side config here, gases, input through top, is how we want this connected then. And then we want to replace these. Maybe we need to use the configurator. Um, I need to get below you, I guess. So I can actually access the bottom of this pipe. I need blocks to stand on, damn it. Um, nope, not where I wanted you. Oh, just give me a builder's gadget. Where are you at? There, you're in my inventory. Select cobblestone. There. Push, pull. Why are you not connecting now? I don't get you. Top side is items for some reason. Oh, is that because... Gadams eject... Off. Input through the face. None. Gases, top. Why was it connecting before and now it's not? Is what is what I don't understand. In items behavior bumps. No, I don't want you to be items though. Let's rotate empty. Configure heat, configure energy, slurries, gases. Here we go. There. Okay. So you're connected. Why are you not working then? Items wrench. Brother. Why is it not outputting it? Also, why have you stopped working? Oh, there's no salt in there as well. Um, let's grab more salt. Okay, so far all three versions are working. So output 2 is working directly into this thing for some reason. We are gaining sodium very slowly. Like, extremely slowly. 28, 29, there we go. But it's not out it, out putting it into this. Is it transporter config that I need to mess with? Output, no, strict input. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, gases, right, auto eject on through the top, fluids can't eject, energy just needs to go through the back. Why are you broken? Yeah, the liquid is that the brine coming in on the left, the gas is the sodium, right? Do I just need to use, like, nodes for this? It just refuses. No, nodes can't work, because I don't think we have a gas um, card, do we? We have a redstone card, but no gas card, so I can't even do gases through this. Now if I do these ones. It's not even connecting in the face though. Okay, what about if we try to do this side config 
through the face. Oops, no, this is items again. Gases blew through the face. No, doesn't want to connect either. Oh, you're in wrench mode. Eat energy, slurries, pigments, gases, fluids, items. Fluids. Push, pull, nothing. Bang. Push, pull, push. I, I, I'm thoroughly confused here as to why this is not working. All right, if that's the case, then we're gonna have to change this around. Let's change this around then. Let's, let's not be silly here. Um, you, uh, gases, clear side config. We should see chlorine ending up in here. Nice. We're going to break these. All right. So it's broken. I'm going to have this thing there. Rotary condensator. You're going to sit there. On gases, left side input. You. Right side, gases, blue output. Now you have sodium. Okay. On the top, we're going to put the trash can. Side config. Gases, blue is going to go out the top. You should be all empty now. And then you should be filling up with liquid sodium. Oh my god, that was so painful. Okay, we are now making, oh, that is the wrong block. We are now making liquid sodium, which is half of this equation. And we spent an entire episode doing that. Uh, let's put, since you're a liquid, we're going to have a node sitting right there um, with an extract card. That's going to be, oops, actually your item extract, that doesn't help me. I need a fluid extract card. You're going to be doing a bucket every second. And you're going to do exact amount, just a bucket. That's the most you're ever going to pull out. And you're going to be on channel 15. You're going to be on channel 15. Right, and then this guy, you're going to be side config fluids extract, uh, which is the output, which is blue out the right. Okay, and now this thing, we just need you with the fluid insert card on channel 15. And then I can connect these up by going one to there, and then you to there. All right, you're not gonna be working because we haven't gained a bucket of you yet. But I can also change this and go, uh, Shift right click goes tens, which means control right click does hundreds. So if I make you now 200, once we get to 200, actually no, we'll just go 100. Control right click. Donk. We're down to 66. We have 100 millibuckets of sodium in here. Okay. We've gone that far. Now I'm going to change you back to a bucket. Everything works up until this point. All right. We're going to do a bucket at a time. That is half this, the thing done. This was a headache. Gases and stuff is not fun. Uh, if anyone knows why these pipes were not working, please let me know because as far as I was like, as far as my knowledge goes, this should be working 100% and it just wasn't. Um, so that's fun. Um, but either way, that's enough of me complaining. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you all on the next one. Peace.